Elizabeth Taylor enjoyed a decades-long stint as one of Hollywood's elite actresses. She was married eight times, was an active humanitarian for various causes, and maintained a carefully cultivated image of luxury right up to her death. However, not many people know that Taylor also survived numerous serious health scares throughout her long life. An early diagnosis of scoliosis left her with lifelong back issues, exacerbated by a fall from a horse while filming National Velvet. She had difficulty getting and staying pregnant, had her appendix removed, and suffered multiple bouts of pneumonia. Later in life, she had skin cancer removed and her hips replaced. She was hospitalized more than 100 times throughout her life. And like a cat with nine lives, Elizabeth Taylor even cheated death more than once. Elizabeth Taylor was born with scoliosis. Elizabeth Taylor was diagnosed with scoliosis when she was a child. The congenital condition creates a sometimes severe curvature of the spine, and this was the cause of the actress's recurring, often debilitating back pain. It wasn't apparent in her younger years because most adolescents don't experience pain from the condition until they hit middle age, and by then treatment options are limited. For Taylor, that meant a lifetime of painkillers that eventually led to an addiction to pain meds and alcohol. However, neither Tyler's warped spine, nor the pain it caused, stopped her from landing role after role in films, starting at the age of 12 with the horse racing-themed movie National Velvet. She fell off a horse while filming National Velvet. She further damaged her spine after she fell off a horse while filming National Velvet. Though Taylor was actually a very competent rider, she'd been on a horse since the age of four, there's not much you can do when it's your massive horse that falls over and tosses you off. Later, she had another, even more severe injury. Just before her marriage to film producer Mike Todd in 1957, Taylor tripped over and landed on her tailbone. She had to have surgery to repair some discs, the surgeon taking bone from a bone bank as well as her pelvis and hip. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about Elizabeth Taylor's ailments. She was just 21 when she was nearly blinded. At 21 years of age, when she was at the height of starry-eyed beauty and popularity, Liz Taylor managed to embed a rusty splinter. It was 1953 and she was on the set of Elephant Walk. The crew had to rush her to a hospital where she underwent immediate surgery to have it removed. The doctors at the time said Taylor was fortunate she didn't go blind in one eye. She was plagued with eye issues her entire life. She suffered from a rare inherited disease called lymphedema dystichiasis syndrome, which caused her to grow an extra set of eyelashes. While this made her eyes stand out and were one of her distinguishing features, she also had to have numerous surgeries to correct uncomfortable ingrown eyelashes. Elizabeth Taylor had medically difficult pregnancies. She had four children during her long life, but her pregnancies were complicated affairs. In 1957, for example, she needed nine doctors while giving birth to her third child, who was premature. That pregnancy caused irreparable damage, and Taylor had to have a hysterectomy a decade later. There's also an unsubstantiated rumor that Liz Taylor had a child out of wedlock right before she married her first husband. The child was given up for adoption and went to live with a family in Ireland, though how she would have hidden her pregnancy on set is anyone's guess. She had her appendix removed after a vacation. In 1957, Taylor was plagued with sudden stabbing pains in her abdomen. She was on vacation with her then-husband Mike Todd. She was rushed to the hospital once again, and doctors diagnosed her with appendicitis and told her she needed an emergency appendectomy. It was just one of over a hundred operations Taylor was forced to undergo during her life. Three years later, she got a brain infection. In 1960, Elizabeth Taylor was once again in the press for a severe ailment. Apparently, while on the set of Cleopatra, she headed to the hospital, clutching her head in pain and weeping profusely. The infection from an earlier tooth abscess had migrated into her brain. And this was a minor ailment compared to others she experienced around this time. The cold and damp filming conditions caused her bronchitis to flare up, leading to multiple bouts of pneumonia. Later in 1961, she had to have an emergency tracheotomy so she could breathe. She ended up in rehab. Elizabeth Taylor was going through her seventh divorce when her issues with substance abuse came to a head. The now famous Betty Ford Center in California had just opened, and she was the first A-list celebrity to receive treatment there. It was the 80s, and there was now finally acknowledgement of the problems drug and alcohol abuse could cause. According to the New York Times, who printed excerpts from her journals at the time, Taylor said she felt like hell when she was there. She was going through withdrawal and was tired all the time. Just a few years later, in 1988, Taylor entered rehab for the second and thankfully final time. And fortuitously, it was there she met her seventh husband, construction worker Larry Fortensky. She was plagued by pneumonia. 
Taylor's career was at its peak in the 40s and 70s, but she'd been right at the top for over three decades. That took a toll on her body. She suffered from pneumonia during her younger days, even being pronounced dead four times during the 60s. By the 80s and 90s, when her career slowed, she was struck again by the life-threatening disease. In April of 1990, the stunning star was hospitalized in a serious condition, as reported by AP News. According to reports from the time, she underwent a lung biopsy to determine once and for all why she was constantly ill with pneumonia. She was even put on a ventilator. A decade later, she had yet another lung infection, but it was mild and treatable. Other Respiratory Infections her scarily high incident of developing pneumonia wasn't her only respiratory infection she suffered from. In fact, she was often bedridden with one illness or another. In 1992, she had to cancel more than a week's worth of appearances due to a flare-up. She had two hip replacements. When Taylor was in her 60s, she had three total hip replacement surgeries. In 1994, she got a new left hip, then in 95, a new right hip. A little later, she had to head into the operating room again for corrective surgery. She was laid up for about seven days following each surgery. The recovery from her left hip surgery was so tricky that she had to cancel numerous important public appearances for the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. So why did she need such invasive surgeries back to back? Turns out she has degenerative arthritis, which was causing severe pain in her hips while she exercised. She was diagnosed with a brain tumor. In 1997, she had a stroke. But it was a blessing in disguise. It led doctors to discover a hidden brain tumor. After testing, the tumor was thankfully revealed benign. But it still had to be removed. She was required to shave her head for the surgery, and right after, boldly posed on the cover of Life magazine. The theme of the cover story was her never-give-up attitude. Heart failure eventually killed Liz Taylor. Despite having the constitution of an ox, this legend of the screen was finally felled by congestive heart failure in 2011. She was 79 years old. In the lead-up to her death, she'd spent two painful months in the hospital. While saddened by the passing, Taylor's close friends and family were thankful she was no longer suffering and joyful that her legend will live on. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Elizabeth Taylor movie of all time? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.